This is part 2 of the Bay of Bombed Hotels video. To get the full story, I recommend watching the other video first. Chapter 4 Blackout If the previous hotel was like a warm welcome, this hotel literally puts the hell in hello. Yes, of course I know Jennifer Lopez. Who doesn't know Jennifer Lopez? But do you also know Hulk Grogan? Those are the boys. Hi. The ones from the last part. Judging by the noises, they must have either seen the ghost of Christmas past or some Scottish sailors on the roof. The atmosphere here reminds me of the Blade Runner movies. Let's play for that one. Front entrance, by the way. There are still cars parking there. Music scene incoming. Awesome. Room of a thousand eyes. That's the next hotel, the Goa Hotel. It has a very generic name, so no need to censor it. see the tapestry on the wall. Bullet hole. This hotel was actually built a year before the one we visited earlier. It was the second hotel in the bay, constructed right after the autocratic leadership by the night on the bay. In its heyday, this was a place for rest, relaxation, but also for networking. And planning. How did they get up there? So, what happened? This is the damage caused by an attempted at destruction of the building. With phosphor grenades. Nasty stuff. It ignites by contact with air and burns fiercely with 800 degrees Celsius. The smoke has a beautiful white color but is hot and dense. In enclosed spaces it can cause permanent respiratory damage. Both the Geneva Convention as well as the Convention on Certain Conventional Weapons forbid the deliberate use of incendiary weapons against civilian targets. So in short, destruction and mayhem happened. An exclusive meeting place was turned into a burnout shed. Do you remember the soldiers who were holed up in the hotels? After three weeks, the attackers were able to flush out the defending soldiers and recapture the bay. And then, the attacking soldiers devastated their own building which the way is supposed to were a capture. You know the feeling when you weren't invited to a party? <laughs> I had this once. Well, the attackers were a bunch of low-ranking soldiers. 
The bosses had been taking luxury vacations in these hotels for years. And they weren't invited. There must have been quite a bit of fury and anger accumulated over the years. And greed. Afterwards, almost everything was either destroyed or gone. And the things that weren't stolen were stolen sooner or later by those who dared. These are the sad stories that seem to be part of every armed conflict. The occurring events can make one a stranger in one's own land, where then all rules no longer seem to apply. Chapter 5 Aftermath So, what happened afterwards? Apparently, the soldiers fighting to free their home country were forced out of the hotel complex. First, by the naval bombardment. Then by the fires and smoke of hell itself. But where's the happy ending? Is there even one? Or is it just loss? Well, I don't know about the soldiers, but I know about their country. The people there were able to successfully fight for its freedom and that of the countries neighboring it today. The attackers on the hotel, the ones that wanted to suppress the independence and preserve the status quo, they lost everything. Like every time, everywhere, suppression only works so long and then freedom. Wales. Oh, look what I have found. The worst room in the hotel. I bet you only got this one if you bought the general's daughter the wrong kind of flowers. You know, the ones that express interest in her. The heat is devastating. I think we're done here. Let's proceed to the next hotel. But before we leave, let's say a proper goodbye to this place, which acts as a metaphor for the hell on earth that we keep creating for ourselves. This video will be continued. In the next part, we go back to the beginning and with it the first and greatest Grand Hotel. Stay tuned for part 3. I know you liked it, so click here for more. Come on, your mother also clicked here. She also left a comment after clicking on the next video.